Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on coordinate geometry and trigonometry. Again, an IGCSE, GCSE, grade 10 mathematics type question. And it says, um, the diagram shows part of a sketch of the curve y is equal to sine x degrees. And then it says, write down the coordinates of the point P. Now, for the point P, as we move from the origin 0, 0 there, uh, we follow the graph carefully. Now, at the maximum point, the coordinate is 91, 90 degrees and 1. We move, the maximum point is 1 there. Now, as we move towards the right hand side, up to the point P, now at the point P, we would have added 90 degrees. So 90 plus 90 is 180, and the y value is 0. So at the point P, the coordinate is at 180, 0. Now we want to find the coordinate of the point Q. Now at the point Q from P, we would have added 90 degrees. So 180 plus 90 is 270. And at the point Q, Q is the minimum point, which is minus 1. Okay, so Q would then be 270 minus 1. And that's the point Q. Now for part C, part C says, uh, here is a sketch of the curve y is equal to a cos b x degrees plus c, where x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 360. Then it says, find the values of a, b, and c. Now if I now reproduce my graph again, now for this graph, I've also produced a new line of symmetry, which is at the point, at the, which is the line y is equal to 1. Now we can find A in a, one of two ways. Firstly, in this method here, note that from the new line of symmetry to the maximum point, and that's 2. So A is 2. We can also find A by using the maximum point, which is 3, and the minimum point, which is minus 1. So A can be 3 minus minus 1 divided by 2, and that's equal to 3 minus minus 1 will give us 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So A is 2 in this case. So A is 2. Now, what about B? Now, watch carefully. If I start from here, I want to go from 0 to 360, and I want to find the number of cycles it takes me to go from, from 0 to 360. Then if I do, that's one cycle. That's two cycles. And that's three cycles. So to go from 0 to 360, I'm covered 0 to 360 in three cycles. So B is 3. Okay. Don't forget that. Now, what about C? Now, the original line of symmetry, as you see my this one here, the original line of symmetry before any alteration is the line y is equal to 0. Now, if I shift my line of symmetry to the point y is equal to 1. Now that because my new line of symmetry there, and for, and for y is equal to 1 to 0, or from 0 to y is equal, sorry, from y is equal to 0 to y is equal to 1, I will have moved my line one unit upwards. So c is now 1. Now I'm going to try and do this again uh, in more detail in the next uh, slide. You don't have to watch it, but I'm going to do a little more, bit more detail, I think, from from uh, cos x to cos so to 2 cos 3x plus 1. Next slide. Okay. Now, for this slide, I've got the brown graph, which is a graph of y is equal to cos x or cos 1x. Now, note here that 
1 x equals 1 x 1 because I've covered from 0 to 360 in one cycle. Now next I'm going to sketch the graph of cos 3 x. Hopefully we go we go from 0 to 360 in three cycles. Now the brown graph is graph of cos x and the blue graph the graph of cos 3 x. Now from cos 3 x I'm going to convert cos 3x in three cycles, from 0 to 360 in three cycles. And that's the first cycle, cycle 1. Cycle 2. And cycle 3. Okay, hence cos 3x there. Now the next graph is going to be the graph of 2 cos 3x. Okay, because we're trying to find the amplitude A this time around. So here we go. Okay, the brown graph is a graph of cos x. The blue graph is a graph of cos 3x. Now, the green graph is a graph of 2 cos 3x because from the line of symmetry, which is the, the line y is equal to 0 or the, or the x axis, a is 2. From the uh, line of symmetry to the maximum point, but that gives us 2 units there. So a is 2. Now, I'm going to produce a graph of 2 cos 3x plus 1. Again, the brown graph, the blue graph, the green graph. Now, this is a graph of 2 cos 3x plus 1, the purple graph. And that's because if we now shift our line of symmetry from y is equal to 0 on the x axis to the line y is equal to 1, to move the x axis from, sorry, we we'll move the line of symmetry from y is equal to 0 to y is equal to 1. So that's one unit there. So, Hence the plus one there. We move from zero to plus one there. Hence plus one. So the purple graph is a graph of two cos three x plus one. And I hope all that made some sense. And please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. And bye bye now.